Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a reading for you based on the Law of Attraction. I will be using the Law of Attraction Tarot. Um, I've already shuffled the deck seven times, so we're ready to go. I just wanted to give you a little heads up. My readings are based on the Law of Attraction, so if you're currently already utilizing that in your life, fantastic. If not, please check out my introduction videos and my step-by-step -step how to apply the Law of Attraction in your life because that's going to make my readings much more meaningful to you. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, so first off, um, the reading, it's a six card spread here. This card represents your desires and what you truly are currently desiring, your objective or what's important to you. And this is the Two of Cups, and this card represents harmony. It's a very beautiful card. So in this reading also, it's for the month of April 2016, and it's also a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So many Sagittarius is desiring harmony in their life, and obviously this card emphasizes emotional harmony. So I would say that relationships um, are important to you right now, and what you're desiring is to have unity, harmony, balance in your relationships. So for most Sagittariuses, this is kind of what um, in some way, shape, or form they're probably looking at. Uh, if it is, also could apply to yourself. So this could be uh, desiring more unity and harmony in yourself. Maybe it's been a little bit challenging uh, the last few months emotionally. Maybe there's been a lot of highs and lows, ups and downs, uh, some unexpected events. And so uh, the Sagittarius energy is desiring to really balance out extremes in nature. Uh, that could be their own personal nature, uh, their own personal you know, highs and lows or whatever situations have been going, out, going on in their life. They're really desiring kind of bringing together um, opposing forces and making sense out of them. And so it, to me this speaks that there's been some type of chaos or something that has felt chaotic. Um, possibly in your life and you're just ready you're ready for a little bit more sense of peace and balance you know maybe you've kind of taken those the highs and lows for a while and you're just you're over that you're over you know maybe it was fun for a while and that extreme you know rush of whatever that emotion was but now you're ready to harmonize to find a little bit more middle ground and and so this card really speaks of that and it like I said it could be you know there's an, definitely an emotional nature here so this is something that's related to how you're feeling about things so I mean and that could be very applicable to many areas of life obviously relationships comes to the forefront whether with that's with yourself or with others but this could even be how you're feeling about your work or um, your home or what you're doing in your life whatever it is a sense of balance and harmony and kind of uh, bringing opposites to kind of make more sense for you, you know, making sense out of things that have maybe seemed out of whack. Uh, that's really what the Sagittarius energy is, is desiring right now. So harmony, which is a very nice card, Sagittarius. Okay, so what you value, what you're currently valuing and uh, what you identify with at this time and this is the Eight of Rods, and this card represents gratification, and also self-gratification. And that's one thing I love about Sagittarius, is they enjoy life. They enjoy life, and thank you for that. Thank you for that, because sometimes, you know, I, I don't feel like the Sagittarius energy really relates with people that are just like, you know, suffering all the time. 
Um, you have a natural optimism and buoyancy to you and sense of wonder and, and just pleasure. Sagittarius enjoys the good things in life. They, they expect the good things in life and they generally get it. And so the things that you value are, you know, enjoying yourself, enjoying your life. You know, it's like life is short. And yeah, we all have problems, we all have issues, but you have to make the most of it. So uh, what I'm sensing here is that, you know, you want to feel good. You want to feel good in life. You don't want to be held down. If there's been something that's been holding you back or um, just making you not feel good, uh, you're over that. You value uh, self-gratification, and but in a positive way. I mean, obviously, any any self-type of pleasure can take an unhealthy extreme, uh, and we all have to be aware of that. But um, you, like I said, you generally see the cup as half full versus half empty, and so you naturally have an enjoyment in life. You, you see things, you, you take joy and pleasure in them, and you're looking for those things that are going to make you feel good. And to me, that's a very positive, positive uh, trait to have. And I think it's contagious, and um, you value that in others. So I feel that you're looking for other people that are optimistic and that want the best that life has to offer and that aren't going to get just, you know, muddled around in woe is me um, or negativity. You're, you're just like, no, sorry, that's not the road that I value. The road that I value is, you know, inner fulfillment and inner satisfaction. So um, for the month of April, you're really identifying with the things that you just want to make the most of life. You want to enjoy the process. You want to do those things that bring you that fulfillment. And uh, it's really an inner joy that I'm sensing here, Sagittarius. So, uh, you know, that's a beautiful, beautiful energy. So you value things that, you know, fulfill your inner self and bring you pleasure. Okay. All right, so... The thing that could trip you up um, in the month of April as you're manifesting your highest and your best self and your intentions, uh, we have the three of wands here, or rods, and this is about perseverance. This is a positive card. Um, basically, you can see it's a farmer and he's sowing his seed. And so what I'm sensing here is that you know, when you sow your seeds, when you plant your new ideas, there is a time of gestation and there is a time of, you know, where nature has to take its course, where it has to rain and it has to, you know, germinate and grow. And, you know, you have some days where you don't get the rain and you need the sunshine. So what I'm sensing here for Sagittarius energy is that you might be discouraged on how quickly things are manifesting for you. You obviously have a very beautiful natural optimism, but with that optimism, it's like, I want this today. I want the results today. They should be here by now. And so what I'm getting here is that with the three of rods here, it's letting you know that you are manifesting. There is no doubt about that. You've already got the seeds in the ground. You already have positive ideas and energies flowing. The key for you, Sagittarius, is just having faith and optimism and patience with that process that if for some reason, you know, there takes a little bit more time for it to manifest for you, that that's perfectly okay. It's perfectly part of the process. And just as the farmer is patient and waits for his crops to come in or her crops to come in, uh, that's the energy you need to adapt is that it's going to happen. It just may not happen as quickly as you would like it, but you know, that's just the laws of the universe that things happen in the perfect time and perfect way. So the thing I see possibly tripping you up for the month of April is just wanting things done, wanting the growth and the change quicker than nature will allow or the universe will allow it to manifest. So just know that this is also a positive thing though, Sagittarius, of course, because you have such positive energy is that um, you're on the right path. It is working. The seeds are being sown. The harvest is coming in. Um, and this also, um, what's beautiful about this card is that this also denotes that people are going to recognize this. You're going to get outside um, acknowledgement that you are making progress. And I think that that's going to give you encouragement that you are on the right path. So if something's not manifesting like super quick, you're going to have someone that's going to come along and say, hey, look, I see a little growth there, and you're going to be encouraged by that. So if it's not coming as quickly as you want, 
just know that it, it will come and it is happening. So there's definitely a progress there. Okay. So, oh, I love this. Okay, so you have, as far as the path to your fulfillment, the path to take for the month of April to manifest in a more quickly, you know, powerful way, is the sun. And it's so fitting with you, Sagittarius, because, um, you know, the sun is just, talk about optimism, talk about beauty, talk about, talk about power. Uh, that's what I get from this card. I mean, you just have a celebration really here of nature, of, you know, colors. Um, so your natural optimism, Sagittarius, you know, I mean, that's who you are, obviously. But if something's been dampening your energies, whether it's, you know, whatever's causing you to want to balance yourself out more, the best strategy for you to take is to allow your natural optimism to shine in full capacity. And I just look at these colors like the bright yellow and the orange. I just, you know, just surround yourself with positive light and energy. And, and then I also see like the purple sky, which that leads me to feel your intuitive side as well. That even if you're not visually seeing it physically manifest in the outside world, you feel and you know, you know that what you want and your true desires are going to manifest. So all the plans and decisions and strategies that you want to take for the month of April, use your, your full power of hope and optimism and belief in the bigger picture to utilize those dreams because that is what is going to create, you know, a beautiful things for you. And uh, if something has been, you know, keeping you a little out of balance or a relationship or whatever, just be patient because, you know, you're obviously bringing back to harmony or to balance whatever hasn't been working for you. And there's a little bit of a process here, as we've seen. There's a process as far as integrating this new harmony. You know, it might take a little more time, you know, but you're, you're, you're working towards that balance. Okay, so just keep an eye on the prize and know that that, that energy of your optimism is what's going to propel you forward. Because the sun, you know, the sun is just so powerful. It's so powerful and it's constant. It's unrelenting. It comes up every single day. Nothing's going to stop that sun. So that's the energy that you want to take for the month of April. Okay. So as far as the right attitude to have, and this is an attitude to relate to yourself and to others, we have the Page of Swords. And this is a very interesting energy. Um, obviously, as you can see, this, this is represented by the Watchman. And the Watchman, he is a very sharp individual. Uh, the Watchman is an observer. He can calculate. He's very calculating, and he's very stra he, he forms a strategy. But he does this in a very incognito way, in a way that, you know, most people don't even know what he's doing. And before you know it, he's got his prey. He snatched his prey. So what this tells me, and also because it's an air sign, it's representative by an air energy, this tells me, Sagittarius, um, that you're already a very fiery, excitable energy. And so what's really going to help you in the month of April is to kind of cool your fire energies and balance them, makes sense, balance them, with your more analytical observant um, intellectual side that's a little more cool and detached and I know you have that side in you and so you want to be a little more observant um, for the month of April so instead of you know putting your energy out and forth into the world you want to kind of step back and observe and hold it back hold it back as far as um, you know maybe your words or just your actions as far as yourself and others you're, you want to be in a more observant state and not that you're not going to take action but when you do it's going to be from a very powerful um, researched place where you know exactly you're, you're calculating your decisions are going to be calculated versus just impulsive and just out there um, you want to take the the action of of observing and keeping the cards close to your chest so that when you do lay down your deck of cards you know exactly what you're doing 
you've thought it out, you've thought it through, it's going to be calculated, and you're going to get your prey. You're going to achieve what you want because you've, you've balanced your energies. You've balanced your fire and your air, and you know that's going to bring you, and you're using your optimism and your belief, and that's going to bring you fulfillment. So, and this, and this also relates to others. So, um, you know, I don't know what type of relationship situations you are in right now or business, but once again, this guy, he's cautious. He doesn't just lay everything out there. He observes, he calculates. Um, he's not by any means lazy. You just don't know what he's up to. And so I feel that, you know, just kind of stepping back your energy a little bit is going to really help you create that balance. And then when you're ready to go forth, you can do that with just, you know, total harmony and balance. Um, so yeah, I do. I, I feel that relationships are important for you right now. I, I'm, I'm feeling that relationships are really important for you. And, you know, maybe you've had a relationship that hasn't been working out and you're frustrated. Um, and you're just, you're wanting to bring that, you want to be hopeful, you want to be, you know, you just want to be happy. And so I'm feeling like if something has not been getting along or whatever, you just want to bring the sense of harmony. And so I have encouragement for you that, and that could be in work, that could be in any area, but um, the universe says that if you apply these energies and if you, you know, activate them, you have the five of pentacles here, which is represented by the partner. It's a very beautiful card. Um, and the reason I like this, Sagittarius, is because this tells me that your partnerships are going to improve. Whatever that looks like for you, your partnerships are going to improve because this is fulfillment for you and your partner. And it can also relate to finances. So if this is even work, um, so by you doing that effort, by you, you know, balancing out whatever has been unstable for you, making those choices, and by you finding the things that make you fulfilled and happy, and by you, you know, really keeping an optimistic attitude that's just has full of belief, and by being patient with the process. And by also, you know, being calculating, just observing, kind of holding back until you know exactly what you want to say or do, you're going to create a beautiful partnership with someone. And like I said, if this is a relationship, it could be a relationship or it could be a work relationship um, or whatever it is that we're talking about here. It's going to be different for different people. There's going to be a harmony. This is, and this is not just you. Uh, this card represents either a group of people or um, an organization or a, a partner. So it's not just reliant on you. Your energy by you living your best and highest self, you're going to create fruit and fulfillment. And I mean, look, that's a, that's a lot of love right there. Love, passion, energy, happiness, um, you know, just joy between you and others. So what a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. I hope that this has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. That way you can be assured of getting these readings on a monthly basis. And I will also be putting out videos on tips and tools on how to manifest and be your best and highest self. So thank you so much for watching and you have a beautiful and optimistic and wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.